Well, hello again, everybody. How lovely for me to have another chance to talk to you. I'm going to tell you another story from the Bible. And actually, it's another story from John's Gospel. In St Andrew's School, we've been reading chapters of John's Gospel all this last term. All this last term. And we are up to the stories that tell us what happened to Jesus just before the very first Easter. That's the story that I'm going to tell you today. I'll put the Bible behind me so we can remember that today's story is from the Bible. Now, we are up to the time in the story where Jesus, here he is again, he's waving at you. Jesus has got very popular, very popular amongst lots of people. Lots of crowds have been following Jesus because they've been listening to the wonderful stories he's told. And they've been hearing about how God loves us all. And they wanted to hear more, so they've kept following Jesus. And they have been wondering, maybe this is the Messiah. Maybe this is the one whom our holy books, our scriptures tell us is promised. Maybe this is the Messiah whom God has promised to send us. We've seen the wonderful things he's done and we think it might be him. We need to follow him to find out more. That's what lots of people are thinking. But other people are thinking, oh no, oh no, we've got to stop this. This man is not the Messiah, oh no. And the people who are thinking that the most are the scribes and the Pharisees. They are the religious professionals and they think, this man is getting more popular than we are. This man is changing things. This man is going to take over. This is terrible. This is terrible. We need to get rid of him. That's what the scribes and the Pharisees are thinking. But the crowds are still following Jesus. And today's chapter begins when Jesus is on his way to Jerusalem. Here is Jerusalem. Jerusalem is the holy city for the Jewish people. The holy city where God's temple is. And Jesus is on his way to Jerusalem because Jesus was a Jewish person and all the Jewish people in the area were travelling to Jerusalem for the great festival of the Passover. And the crowds heard that he was coming and they took branches from the trees. They cut off the branches and when he came, they waved the branches and they cried, Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord, the King of Israel. Hosanna, Hosanna. And Jesus found a donkey and he got on the back of the donkey. And he rode into Jerusalem. Hosanna, they cried. Hosanna. And it happened just like the scriptures, just like the holy books had said it would. Hosanna. 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 Jesus got very near Jerusalem. He 
talked to the crowds who were there. He said, now is the Son of Man glorified. Now is the Son of Man glorified. The hour has come. And then he said, my soul is troubled. What should I say? Should I say, Father, save me from this hour? But no, this is why I came. This is why I came, Father, glorify your name. And John says, a voice came from heaven. I have glorified it and I will glorify it again. And some of the crowds thought, it's thunder. And some of the crowds thought, an angel is talking to him. And Jesus said, that voice came for you, not for me. This is why I have come. And I, said Jesus, when I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all things, all people, to myself. Next. Before the Passover festival, Jesus took his disciples To a room. There's the room. And in the room, can you see? The disciples and Jesus had a meal. They had supper. And near the end of the meal, Jesus got up from the table and he took a towel and he tied it round his waist and he took a bowl and he filled the bowl with water and he took the bowl and he began to wash his disciples' feet. That was the servant's job. He began to wash the disciples' feet. And when he came to Peter, Peter said, Lord, you will never wash my feet. Peter knew that was the servant's job. And Jesus said, Unless I wash your feet, you can have no part with me. So Peter said, Lord, then not just my feet, but wash my hands and my head as well. And Jesus said, no, those who are clean don't need another wash. You are clean already. But then Jesus said, not all of you are clean Jesus was thinking about what was going to happen next. He was thinking about what was going to happen next. And when he had finished washing everybody's feet, he went back to the table and he said to his disciples, Listen, I have given you an example. I I am your Lord and I am your master and I have washed your feet. You need to wash one another's feet. You need to follow my example. You need to love one another. And then Jesus looked very sad 
and he said, one of you is going to betray me. And the disciples looked at one another and they thought, who is it? Who is he talking about? And Peter looked across at one of the disciples whom John calls the disciple that Jesus loved. Here he is. That disciple was having a little rest with his head on Jesus's chest. And Peter said to that disciple, ask him who he means. Ask him who he means. And that disciple said, Lord, who is it? Who are you talking about? And Jesus said, I am talking about the one to whom I'm going to give some bread. We'll pretend he's taken that bread. I've dropped it on the floor. And dip it in the dish. And Jesus took the bread. And he dipped it in the dish. And he took the bread to Judas, who was the son of Simon Iscariot. And Jesus said to Judas, what you are going to do, do it quickly. The disciples thought maybe he meant, because Judas looked after all the money, maybe he meant Go and get something, go and get something to get ready for the festival. Do that quickly. The disciples thought maybe he meant that. And Judas looked at Jesus and Jesus looked at Judas and Judas went out. And the Bible says it was night. It was night. And then Jesus looked at his disciples and he said, I won't be with you for very much longer. I've given you a new commandment. Love one another just like I have loved you. If you love one another, everyone will know that you are my disciples. Love one another, just like I have loved you. I'm only with you for a little while now, and where I'm going, you cannot come. And Peter said, but Lord, why can't we come with you? Jesus said, you can't come with me now. You can't come with me now. But listen, don't let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God and trust in me. Because in my father's house, there are many rooms. If it weren't so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And listen, if I go to prepare a place for you, I'm going to come again and take you to myself. So that where I am, there you will be also. And Thomas looked up and Jesus said, You know the place where I am going. And Thomas said, Lord, we don't know where you're going. How can we know the way? And Jesus said, I am the way and the truth and the light. No one comes to the Father except through me. From now on, you have seen the Father. You have seen the Father. And he said, listen, unless I go, I can't ask God to send the Spirit to you. It's good for you that I go, because if I go, I will pray to God the Father and God the Father will send you another comforter. God the Father will send the comforter to you, the Spirit of Truth. And he said, listen, listen, love one another. God will send the Spirit of truth. And he said, I'm the vine, you're 
the branches remain in my love. Just like the branches have to stay part of the vine, so you have to stay part of me. You have to remain in my love. And then Jesus prayed to God. He prayed to God and he said, Father, may they all be one. May they be one in us. You in me and I in you. May they be one in us so the whole world may know that you have sent me. Amen. And then Jesus looked at his disciples and he said, come on, we need to go. So they got up from the table and they went outside. And that is the end of today's chapter. I'm going to say a prayer. If you'd like to make it your prayer, you can say Amen at the end. Dear Jesus, thank you that you showed us how to love one another. Thank you that you promised the Spirit to be with us forever. Please help us to trust in you. Amen. So that is the end of today's story. Next time, we'll hear the next 